What's up guys, welcome to the other refinement. In today's video, we're gonna go over how eBay search traffic works. So please smash the like button, consider subscribing. I have outlined the episode to the right here. However, I recommend you watch all the way to the end of the video. It's a short video and I'm gonna go over how eBay ranks its items. So again, please smash the like button, consider subscribing if you want tips and tricks on how to grow your online store. So let's get into it. I gave an example here. If you want Resar Nirvana, which is listing and selling the same number of items per day, this is the formula. List the same number of items consistently every day for 270 days, that's number one. Number two, only list items that sell in 90 days or less. Just those two rules. If you do that for nine months, after 270 days, starting from zero, you'll have 1,800 items in your store and you will list and sell 20 items a day. Most people can do that if they're full-time with some practice and you'd make $6,000 a month profit, which is, most people could replace their income with $72,000 a year, most people. So you can adjust accordingly to where you wanna be in your store, but now we're gonna talk about how to actually do that. So that's those are the two rules, okay? Most people don't list consistently and they certainly do not only list items that sell in 90 days or less. So let's talk about something that I wanna go over, which is how listing performance works. So here's an example of bullhead jeans. I have three pairs in my store. Right here it says best match. This is what eBay is gonna to recommend to the customer. Now, customers search two different ways from, from my experience. They either just type in bullhead jeans and eBay recommends items for them, or they type in bullhead jeans and then click this right here, which is price lowest to highest. And once they get these results, they're gonna go in here and, and look for the best deal. So this is interesting because when you type in bullhead jeans, when it has the best match, look at this, there's only 4,586 results. When you click low to high, there's another 1,000 results. So there's actually more results when you search low to high than there are when eBay recommends listings for you. Why is that? Why does eBay hide 1,000 listings? I'll explain why right now. So listing performance comes down to two things, okay? Number one, are you getting a normal amount of impressions? So what happens is, I'm gonna scroll down, look at these six listings, right? This is what eBay is recommending to me, these six listings. It's amazing because in our reseller group, Reseller Nirvana, we talk about how to write, how to write titles and take pictures. And if you see here, this, all these pictures are from people that are in our group because everyone takes pictures almost the same way now because we're just going for the most efficient way to deliver a good experience to the customer. So you can see here, my listing showed up number one here. And the reason why is because I clicked on it before. So eBay is gonna remember the customer search history. Whatever they are looking for before is what they're gonna search and give to you. So if you only look for fireworks on Google, they're gonna start recommending you ads on fireworks. That's how shoppers shop, and that's how eBay recommends things to you. So number one is your impressions rate. So if you have a good listing and people see the actual listing and they wanna click, so right here you can see as an example, there are six listings that eBay are recommending. The first five, the photos are very similar and this fourth one, the picture is not as good. You wouldn't be able to tell from this picture what the jeans actually look like, right? Also, this pair of jeans, 33 times 32, is actually a, a men's sizing and most of the bullhead jeans are in, are in the women's category. So it's interesting that this popped in, but I know why, and it's because eBay recommended to the customer because of the $1 starting price, which is very low, and this item is about to end. You can see here, you know, $15.95 for shipping is very expensive. So on the, the, this seller is trying to make up for potentially um, a really low auction price with a really high sale price. So they're capitalizing on a higher rank because it's an auction and it's, you know, the actual price of the item is really low. Total price is not that low, but the actual price of the item is low. So you can see here, my item um, at $11 plus $9 shipping is $20. And this person's listing is $17. So they're $3 cheaper than me. So you would think that eBay only delivers the lowest price to the customer, but thank goodness that is not true, okay? Because I am never the lowest priced in, in my category, but I still get sales. If you go here and click on lowest price, which is how some people shop, eBay's probably not gonna admit any, omit any of the results. They're gonna show the customer all of them, right? You would think that, but it still says here, 
we remove some search results to show you the most relevant listings. If we click this view all results, it's going to populate another 200 listings that were questionable according to eBay. But maybe you haven't been doing a good job of listing and you're one of those 200 listings which was removed from the search, right? And if customers are searching for best match, maybe you didn't show up at all. So customers, I mean, people on eBay are trying to figure out why I can tell you why your listing was suppressed. So number one, when you list an item, only three things can happen. Either the impressions are good, they're below good, or they're above good. They're either below average or, or above. So if your listing is performing as usual, that means a normal number of people will see it and click on it. And a normal number of people will click on it and buy it. If it's lower than normal so that means that less people are clicking on it which is only a couple things it's either the brand isn't very good or the, the style is not popular or it's priced too high or something's wrong with the pictures there's only a few reasons why somebody wouldn't click on the item so you can already go ahead and fix that the second part is let's say they do click on it right why aren't they buying it this pair is nine dollars and 18 cents including shipping so i have clicked on it why am I not buying? Is it because there's only two pictures? Is it because I can't really see what it is in these two pictures? Is it because they have 97.8% feedback, so maybe I don't trust them? It doesn't really matter what the reason is for me not buying from them. It's just the fact that I'm not buying from them. So me showing up at this listing and not buying anything is now letting eBay know that the sell-through rate is lower than it could be, right? Because eBay wants literally one view, one click, one purchase. They don't want to waste views. They don't want to waste clicks and they certainly don't want people to not buy. And the worst thing for them is they buy on a different website. So if enough people scroll past your listing, eBay will be like, you know what? This listing doesn't have good impressions. So it's going to move lower in the rank. Okay. Now some people do click on your listing and they don't buy. You're going to be moving lower in the rank. So people keep saying like eBay is punishing me. They're, they're not punishing you. You're punishing yourself by making a listing that doesn't move up the ranking. It's moving down the ranking because people keep looking at it and not buying it. Or people look at it and don't click on it. So it keeps moving lower and lower and lower until you're on page two or three of bullhead jeans and your item will never sell because there's 5,729 options here. People aren't going to look through all 5,729. They're just going to look... The closer to the top, the more likely they're going to be to be able to buy. So that's how eBay search ranking works. They're not punishing anyone and not really rewarding anyone. You're doing it to yourself. The better your listing is, the higher it ranks naturally. So it's one of those situations where the people who are doing well continue to do well because their listings keep getting recommended above the fold. And the fold is this is your screen. So below the fold means anything below these three listings I can't really see. Can't see it, can't sell it. So let's talk about what happens when your listings are performing better than usual. That means people are scrolling down and they go, oh wow, this seller uses the tape measure in the first picture. Maybe they think that the seller cares a lot more. So maybe I click and their prices are really good. $3.99 plus $3.95. Um, for standard shipping. So they're going to lose money on first class shipping and they're going to sell me the item for $4. Maybe this seller is fantastic. So I click more and buy more from the seller. If that's the case, eBay is going to continue to recommend other buyers buy your items. Okay. So this is, and I learned this essentially from YouTube because YouTube will tell you when you make a video, this video is not very good. The, the title and the thumbnail are bad because people are not clicking on it and people are not watching it. So when you have a picture that's bad or a title that's bad and people click into it and don't buy it, what you're essentially doing is clickbaiting them. They look at the item, they think it's a good deal, they click on it and they find out it's not a good deal or it's not what they're looking for. So they leave, eBay thinks that you're clickbaiting people, they suppress you lower in the listings, they're not punishing you, it's just that listings that do better move to the top. So it's just this giant ranking system. So your job is to rank as high as you can. So how do we fix this? I know how to fix this. So again, please smash the like button, consider subscribing, consider joining my Facebook group with my colleague Tech and Sports. He has 35,000 listings in his store. I'm just crossing over 4,000 listings right now. I'm starting over. I'm going to do what I just am going to preach right now in the video and I'm going to go over what it is. So join the group. It's about a dollar a day at patreon.com slash the resource podcast. So number one, 
You're going to list only items that sell in 90 days or less. Okay, you're going to learn how to do that. That's important because if you list items that never sell, those don't count. So here's the method. Number one, you're going to list whatever your goal is for 270 days. Okay, number two, you're only going to list items that sell in less than 90 days. Number three, you're going to list 1% extra. Okay, so instead of just listing your normal 20 items, you're going to list 40 items. Not for 270 days, but just for one month. Okay, so here we are. We're going to list our normal listing goal, which is 20 or 5 or 10 or whatever your goal is. Next, you're going to double that goal just for one month. Next, you're going to go in and improve 1% of your listings because all your listings have room for improvement. So you can go back in, adjust the pricing a little bit, adjust the title a little bit, rearrange the pictures a little bit so that it's, it's going to rank higher. Finally, you're going to remove 1% of your worst performing listings every day. If you do that for 30 days, okay, I don't know what to call it. Maybe I'll call this a daily refinement method. You will essentially cycle out your entire store in 30 days. You're going to remove 1% of the garbage listings every day. So you're removing the bottom one third of your listings. The most crappy, worst listings are going to get donated. Don't donate to the same thrift store that you thrift at. Donate to, to, to one in a different county. Get rid of the bottom 30%. You're going to list consistently for 30 days your normal listing habit because you have to do that forever. Then you're going to list an additional 30% to replace that bottom 30%. And after 30 days, your store is going to be completely fixed. So, yeah, I've been doing this and my sell-through rate is maintained above 1%. So, I'm going to cross over 4,000 listings and I've been having over 40 sales a day. So, as long as I maintain that 1%, I'll continue to grow slowly. And I'm just mainly focused on that 1% rule. 1% of your listings selling every single day and making sure I list the same number of items or more every single day. So if your goal is 10 listings a day and one day you're feeling really good and you want to list 30 that day, that's okay. But just remember the next day you still got to do 10. So I might bank those, put those in your draft bank. That way you can reuse those, those drafts on days that you don't feel like listing. Because again, there's only two rules here for, for the permanent permanent slow sale fixer. List the same number of items each day. List only items that sell in 90 days or less. That's it. So appreciate you guys. Please smash the like button. Consider subscribing. Join the Patreon group, patreon.com slash the resource podcast. Take care, everyone.